sorcerer, the cornerstone of any RPG, ARPG, MMORPG, all the PGs in the world have one version of the mage slash wizard slash sorcerer, which is sorcerer right now, even though it was sorceress in Diablo 2 and wizard in Diablo 3. Now, I don't know what the name is. It doesn't even matter because what it does matter is that it retains its flavor of being either a frost, fire or lightning beast, elementalist, caster, whatever you want. You can do all of these and you can dive deeper into each build, rounding up a really cool playstyle, whatever your choice is, or you can even be a hybrid, a mix in between all of these, or even use these to summon different magical entities like a hydra or a lightning spear or ice blades. Frost blades, doesn't really matter, they're all the blades. They will hit stuff for you and I mean what better way to be a chat caster than to let other things kill stuff for you. Looking at you necromancer. But this is a sorceress video and did I just call it sorceress? Sorcerer, it doesn't matter, it holds the same place in our heart of blasting your enemies to pieces with fire, frost or lightning. Let's get into it. As with all classes in Diablo 4, you have four abilities which are actually named basic abilities that are the slash builder slash passive fillers while your mana is charging up because you can make them generate more mana if you actually talent into them into the enhanced version of each one well first of all you have the very staple frost bolts fire bolts spark and arc lash arc lash is new to diablo 4 and it is probably one of the cooler ones it is a melee slash lightning ability that does pretty much aoe damage to all of the things probably mechanically the best one but it does keep you in melee close to your enemies and once you have enough mana you will spend that mana on finishers or actual core abilities some of them you might recognize ice shard is a little bit of a new one and it is pretty cool frozen orb is a quintessential cornerstone of frost mages within blizzard games Fireball is something that you might remember, just blasts AoE fire damage. Incinerate is the Diablo 2 Inferno, maybe? And it is fine, it is a channeled ability, so this is part of the gameplay as well. If this is something that you like to channel non-stop fiery death on your enemies, it is pretty cool. Charged Bolts and Chain Lightning will be the lightning counterparts of these finishers. Chain Lightning has been notoriously fun to play with on beta and most likely will be even more fun on live, while Charge Bolts is a pretty, pretty iconic lightning ability when it comes to Diablo games, specifically Diablo 4 and Diablo 2. And you wouldn't be a complete spec unless you had like big cooldowns, which for Sorcerer are called Mastery Skills. You may remember such abilities such as Blizzard. Yes, this Blizzard is a lot more visual than in the past and it does feel like you're actually slapping targets with a lot of ice and you have meteor which is maybe less visual but it is a meteor and is a fire ability and you slap that down on your enemies exploding them very reminiscent of diablo 2 firewall also very reminiscent of diablo 2 and you might have seen a lot of other monsters use this very iconic ability and last ball lightning to kind of finish up the lightning part of your skill tree as well and it is shooting a ball lightning that kind of zaps everybody around, travels very slow and feels very electrifying to use and see. And these will, of course, be finalized by your ultimates. Deep Freeze in cases you in a block of ice. You might remember such abilities from World of Warcraft, maybe. And you will constantly launch out frost waves of damage to other enemies. And of course, you can further customize this to do even more cool stuff. Inferno, uh, which is uh, the oldest in red, but now it's called Inferno, you summon a fire serpent. It's a big fire snake, man. And you just surround every mob in the area and squeeze them tight together. This, of course, does a buttload of damage, but also crowd controls your target to kind of be nice and tightly packed for some more upcoming AoE that you will dish out as a proper sorcerer that you are. Unstable Currents is maybe the coolest thing sorcerer can actually do on a fairly large cooldown. Once you activate it for 10 seconds, whenever you use a shock skill, a random core conjuration or mastery skill will also be cast. This is really nuts because you can just explode in a lot of random lightning effects abilities all over your screen and I haven't had 
this much fun with one ability in ever. This is the most fun. Uh, I've been born yesterday and this is the first game that I'm playing. A stable occurrence is fun. That's what I'm trying to say. And of course, works really well with a lot of the gearing systems. We even had a video on it on our channel that you can check out. But this is the last ultimate ability that you have. And of course, you cannot finish it without the actual conjuration abilities that you might know sort of to be famous for. However, in Diablo 4, you have more this time. First of all, you have the ice blades that just cut enemies to pieces and of course apply the vulnerable through different other augments that you can tick. Hydra, the iconic fire hydra ability that just blasts a lot of targets with fire damage again and again and again and again and again and again, and again. like a little little tiny hydro machine gun of fireballs and lightning spear you just put it out and it searches enemies for you and damages them because why not i mean you are the master of the elemental magics tackling the forces of hell in sanctuary cannot be done without proper defensives you might remember such usual suspects like ice armor and it's pretty self-explanatory frost nova is also a defensive skill in diablo 4 and it is really cool to just encase everything in frost and then just start to blast with all of the frost debuffs that you will be able to do as a frost sorcerer flame shield is a different take on an actual shield it's super super low duration it lasts for two seconds you blast a bunch of fire damage around and it makes you immune for those two seconds and of course you can even make it way cooler by augmenting it with some of the other points that you can put into and let's not forget the main reason why you are playing sorcerer and maybe why other people have been playing sorcerers for a long time or maybe wanted to play sorcerers but they couldn't because they just needed this one ability and that is teleport similar to diablo 2 it does teleport you over a wide range of terrains especially now since you have some verticality to overcome whether it's ladders whether it's pits whether it's canyons or anything like that teleport is awesome to use it does make you feel like a proper sorcerer being able to get into the fight or get out of the fight of course you teleport you also deal a little bit of damage but ideally you'll probably want to use this to just move around and dodge things and of course these are just the iconic abilities that you'll be able to have access to and they will be pretty neat and awesome skills to use but they can be made even more amazing with actual altering passives that you have all around your skill tree spread throughout to do more damage with all of them to make your frost abilities be even free and not cost any mana more damage on all of the effects more crits more vulnerables all of that stuff will be put into your skill tree while you level up and discover the magic of the sorcerer and decide what builds to take even further into the paragon board and legendaries and all of that into the late game is sorcerer the best class that you can play listen it may have been on beta it may not be on live but it doesn't matter because you will summon all of the elements onto the battlefield fire frost lightning or a combination of all of these to be the ultimate mage of destruction edgy but hey maybe it is the best class for you and you can let us know in the comment section down below thank you for watching the video and we will see you in the next one bye bye